Hello everyone! I wanted to talk to you about my Zoom um, all-in-one pen and marker kit that I just got. So I have been a Cricut user for five plus years now. It's been a minute and um, I love it. I love all my tools, all my attachments, um, but it does get pricey. And I personally have the markers that come with, or that don't come with the Cricut, but you can buy as an add-on. Um, and I've used them for a lot of projects. But as I use them, I've consistently found myself thinking two things. The first being, you know, I wish that I could just use other types of markers in my Cricut, whether that's a different size or a different color or a different even type of um, marker, I guess. Like I've wanted before to use like a chalkboard marker or something. And unfortunately with the way that the Cricut is set up, it doesn't allow you to have that flexibility. It kind of requires you use their markers. So that's been my first little minor frustration. My second thought is, you know, I wish, um, well, sometimes I find myself thinking, you know, I have this project, it's gonna use a lot of ink, and so then I'm a little hesitant to do the project because the Cricut markers can be a little bit more pricey if you're on a budget. And so the thing that made me super excited when I found this Zoom Precision pen and marker bundle is that, you know, of course it came with pens and markers that I can use today right on my machine, but the most exciting part for me is that it came with these two tools. And so these are pen and marker adapters that you can use right on your, um, on your Cricut machine. And what's cool about them is that that's the size, this is the marker one. So see this little tool right here? basically allows you to change the shape. So this is gonna fit in right where you would normally put your, your tool or your pen, Cricut pens. And so that's not gonna change, but this little screw allows you to put in any other size um, pen or marker or whatever it may be. So the Zoom Precision Kit came with all of these cool uh, pens and markers, and I love them, especially these, because they have a little bit of a glimmer, shimmer, sparkle thing in them, and I think it's really fun. But on top of that, you can use anything else that you have that would fit within this, that's at least smaller than it, so you can fit snugly. So with that, let me show you a little bit more detailed of how you get it set up and how it works. One more thing before we get started. Something that I love about the markers that came in my bundle is that it has the Sharpie end like that, but then it also has this other end that's a really fine tip. Um, I don't think you can see that, but it works really well for those you know smaller fonts that you might be writing with. Okay, so to set it up, you're gonna take your tool. I'm gonna be using this pen one and you're gonna place it. Well, first you wanna unwind it like this, just so that you have plenty of room. I'm gonna be using this precision pen that came in my bundle, and you can just test it. So as you can see, it's not quite going in. I need to loosen it a little bit more. Perfect. All right, there we go. So that's a, a good um, spacing for that. I don't want it all the way out because I'm gonna tighten it here in a minute, but once you have that ready to go, you're gonna drop your tool into clamp A just as you would. Oh, let me say one thing really quickly. Before you get started, you will have to take this piece out of your clamp A right here. This is the adapter for the Cricut markers, and so it will come already in your machine. You can look up pretty easily some examples of how to get that out, but pretty much you're just going to secure with one hand this piece because you don't want to put unnecessary strain on that piece on your machine. And then if you grab from the bottom, this squeezes together slightly. So you'll just squeeze it slightly and add some pressure up, pushing up, and then you'll be able to pull it out pretty easily. So you are gonna replace that with your zoom tool. And I might have to put it in a little bit. So you're just gonna drop it in. And you'll see it fits pretty snugly. And then your kit will come with a popsicle stick. So just take a popsicle stick or something of a similar um, sizing right there, and you're gonna slide it just directly under there, just like that. And then take your, your um, pen, I'm using the one that came in my bundle as well, the Zoom Precision one, and you're gonna drop it just so the tip touches that popsicle stick. You don't want it to be pushing down hard, but just so that it's barely touching, I might even lift it slightly. 
oh, and of course clamp it in. Yep. Okay, and then you're going to tighten this screw. And you don't want it too tight, but just so that it fits just snugly. And then remove your popsicle stick. Once you're there, you're about ready to go. All right, when it comes to setting up your machine, you're gonna set it up just as you normally would. So we're still using the, the drawing feature on our cut or on our file. So you're just gonna set it up to draw. In this case, I'm making some pantry labels. And so I've selected a font and I'm gonna have it draw that font and then it's gonna cut them out so that it's the size of the label. And then for my dial and my material, I'm just setting it to cardstock because that's what I'm using here. And once that is all loaded, you press your arrows and you're ready to go. One minor thing, in this case I am using a smaller paper size, so just make sure that you change the size on your computer so that it doesn't draw on your mat. That's it, it's as simple as that. Here's an example of one of my finished labels and I'll show you what it looks like in my pantry here in a minute. If you want the link to this project so that you have the design file all ready to go, we can link that right here. And that's all there is to it. Um, highly recommend the Zoom Precision bundle for the pens and the markers. Honestly, it's the best price I've found so far for everything that it includes and the quality of the projects you're able to produce using their pens and markers. So hopefully that helps and happy crafting.